guys, welcome back to Bunches of Lunches Summer Edition. Summer lunches are a little bit different. We're gonna share with you some lunch ideas, and we're also gonna show you where we eat our lunch. So stay tuned. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Today's shout outs go to Bunny Cutie 47. And our Instagram shout out goes to Teresa. Happy Monday, it's lunch time. Now today is the only lunch that we're gonna have at home this entire week, so I wanted to make it really cute but easy as well. So of course I went with PB&J, but I did use this dinosaur shaped cookie cutter. Oops, <laughs> but none of the kids could actually tell that it was a dinosaur after I cut it out. It looks like an eggplant to me. Lily asked me if it was a banana. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really look like a dinosaur, but that's okay. It did add some cute little eye picks to make it a little bit more cute. There are two pieces that makes one whole sandwich, and I think Lily will end up sharing some of hers with Griffin, because that's kind of a lot for you, right Lily? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna share? Over in this back corner, I have some chips today. These are the white cheddar poppables. They're really good and crispy. We love those. And then we have some apples and some celery. Well, actually, these are pears. Lily oh. loves pears, and we need to use these up before we head out of town tomorrow. So pears and celery, and that is it for the lunch today, because we're just going to have water. Hi, guys, and happy Tuesday. So we are actually about to hit the road on a 13-hour road trip. We're gonna stop in Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and then we're gonna go on to Utah. So today's lunch is for the car. So with that in mind, I went super simple. I started by adding a napkin, just in case there's any spills. And then for our sandwich today, I'm using a croissant. And then inside the sandwich, I just put a nice big slice of cheese. So it's just a cheese sandwich today. No mayonnaise, no meat, so I don't have to worry about it going bad. Oh yes, and Mackenzie's actually helping me. The rest of the kids and Daddy are packing the car. So what else do we have, Mackenzie? We have some mango apple yogurt or whatever that is. It's like an applesauce pouch. We have some fig bars. Mm -hmm. These are like Fig Newtons, just the uh, Trader Joe version. Pirate Booty from Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. It's the Trader Joe's brand, and that's all we have. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty simple. That of course, they'll have more snacks later, and all the kids will also have their water bottles. So hopefully, this won't be too messy in the car. Nothing melty, nothing really juicy. I think it'll be good. Are you ready to go? Yeah! We are like two hours behind schedule, so as soon as I get in the car, they're gonna be eating these lunches, and we'll be on our way. Okay guys, this is a really cute but simple lunch on the go. Not quite as ornate as I would make at home, but definitely a lot easier. This is basically a DIY Lunchable. In this back corner I have some cantaloupe. I actually cut this up before we left home. I just brought it with us and stuck it in the fridge in the hotel, but unfortunately the fridge in our hotel made the cantaloupe freeze a little bit, so hopefully the kids will still like it. Same thing with the peas. We just brought our own peas from home, and I did bring some ranch, but unfortunately we didn't bring it into the hotel with us. We accidentally left it in the car, so uh, I don't have any ranch to give them today. In this little container I have the crackers. I like to keep the crackers separate so that they don't get soggy. I don't want them to touch the meat or the cheese, so I have them right over here. And then over here I just have some rolled up turkey. We brought this from home as well. I just roll it up and then tear it into pieces that will fit the cracker. I just took some slices of cheese. We brought these from home as well. And I just broke it up and stuck it in there. Now I do have a very, very special treat today, which is a Kinder Joy egg. The kids love these. They've been wanting to have these for days. So after they finish their lunch, they'll definitely have this sweet treat sometime today. Then if you've never had one of these before, they're really fun. It's like a chocolate egg, and then inside there's a toy. So for the girls, it's going to be a Frozen themed toy. And then for Jackson, it's going to be a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World themed toy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up. I'm just gonna get my lids on, and then all of the lunches are going into the same um, lunch cooler today. We're gonna put all of them in here and then take them down by the lake. We're having a picnic by the lake. It's kinda chilly, <laughs> that's okay. Mm. I'm having half of this curry chicken wrap. And what are you having? 
barbecue salad. Barbecue, barbecue ranch. ranch salad. And you better hope that seagulls don't come and take our food. Yeah. Griffin is not having lunch. He's sleeping. But he is holding our chips for us. Yay. <laughs> Hi guys and happy Thursday. But technically it's still Wednesday for me. This is my first time making the lunches the night before. And that's because we're still in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. And in the morning, early in the morning, we're gonna pack it all up and head to Utah. So I wanted to make the lunches tonight. Now these lunches are a little bit different because it's more of a brunch sort of a theme because the kids might end up eating these a little bit earlier. So of course I started with a napkin just in case there's any spills. Next I added a nice big bottle of this drinkable yogurt. This is actually a peach smoothie. It's full of calcium and protein. It really fills them up for a long time. To go along with that, I'm also giving the kids this organic Z-Bar. This is a double peanut butter. So it's peanut butter granola on the outside with a peanut butter filling. That sounds delicious. And these ones are nice because there's no artificial flavors, no corn syrup, non-GMO, and they're organic. Back over in this corner, I have some vegetables. I started off by adding some baby carrots. And then I added a little bit of ranch. Now this ranch is yogurt based and it's a little bit lighter on calories, but it's still really good. Normally I would put my ranch in a separate container, but when we're traveling I don't bring all the little containers and I don't bring all the little picks because one, it's not really practical and two, I don't want the kids to lose them. So traveling lunches are a little bit different in that way. So I added a little bit of ranch to each compartment and then I decided to add more veggies. I put just a couple of sugar snap peas in there as well. Now this lunch has a lot of protein already with the yogurt smoothie and the peanut butter, but I wanted to go ahead and use up the last three slices of turkey that I had. So I just rolled it up and broke it in half and stuck it in there. Now of course we're gonna have lots of drinks and other snacks in the car if the kids need something else after these lunches. Hi guys, it's lunch time. Are you ready? Yeah! So we left Nevada at 3 a.m. It was a 3 a.m. challenge. Yeah, it happened though. So we stuck these kids in the car and we've been driving through the night, but we wanted to make a quick rest stop over here because it's very interesting. Do you know what it is? It's salt. Uh-huh, let's go check out. I have salt in my hand. Yeah, let's go check out the salt flats. This thing smells like stinky eggs. Good morning guys and happy Friday and welcome to another hotel made lunch. Now I actually only have five minutes before we have to check out so I'm really rushing to throw this together and then we're out the door. We're gonna head to the splash pad today and other fun things. So today I started with some napkins of course just in case there's any spills. Then I added a mini croissant to each container. For a special treat today, I'm also including these little Nutella packs to go on the croissant. These were left over from our breakfast at the hotel, so I'm just gonna stick that right in there. I am also including some string cheeses today, and these are the really fun Star Wars packaged ones. They're really cute. In this back corner, I just have the last of our sugar snap peas, and I am gonna quickly just go ahead and put a little bit of this ranch right in the container. These containers are great. I get them on Amazon, and they don't leak, so I don't need to worry about the ranch getting on everything else. I'm just gonna dump that in there. And then I do have a fruit today, but I'm not gonna put it in the lunch box because it really doesn't fit. I picked up some of these mango chunks, and these are in juice and they're organic, they're really very good. They are kind of hard to open, but I'll be there to help the kids, so it's not a big deal. Now we have lots of other snacks in the car, so if they need more than this, they can definitely have more. We have some cookies and some crackers. In the car, we even have some juice. So yeah, that's everything that's going in here today. Hi! Hi. Hi. Are you eating your lunch? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lily, what was your favorite part of lunch? The peas that you're eating. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part, Jack? I like the Nutella bread. Yeah, that's always good. What about you, Kenzie? The Nutella bread. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Think of it. The floor is lava. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, they're all safe. <laughs> you safe? <laughs> yeah. Are you safe? Yeah. Are you safe? Yep. Somebody else is safe. Where's Griffin? Where's Griffin? 
open. Nope. <gasps> there he is. Are you safe? Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Let us know which, which was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. See you next time. You only need